Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Delightful Adventure Enhanced. Today we're going on an airship. Yippee! Off to Strawberry Clouds. Love the animations there. Welcome to World 4, Strawberry Clouds. Floating Sky Sight. I really love the effort that has been put into the bosses. Alright, so. Look at that background. It is gorgeous. Nearly got hit due to poor jumping skills. Ooh! Fire flower! Heck yeah. What is it with role playing games and the need to have really bad mini games? Like, I'm playing, say, Tales of Vesperia in order to uh, walk around, explore and fight things, right? And instead of that, here's a mini game that's a snowboarding game. Now, I've never played any actual snowboarding games like uh, Snowboarding Kids for the Nintendo 64 or 1080 Degree Snowboarding. Never played them. So I don't know if it's a good mini game or a good snowboarding game, but... It's technically optional unless you want to get a higher percent completion. The rewards, I'm not too into the costume rewards that you get. So, you know, you might say, well then just avoid it. But I didn't know that the costume rewards were going to be bad until I start, or were going to be things I wasn't interested in until I start playing. Oh wow, I'm already at the midpoint. until I started playing and had a really hard time getting the first uh, reward. And in some RPGs, there are mini games that are from an entirely different genre that I didn't want to participate in that are mandatory. Oh, do I need to jump on something? To no, I don't need to jump on something for this. Good. What was that? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Like I've played role-playing games where, for example, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep where you have to do a rhythm game. S something that I'm really bad at. I don't have rhythm. Mario, yeah. And if you can't beat the rhythm game, you can't continue. Why? That's like, oh wow, one of these lumps is actually level. Forgotten Fortress. Neat. Here I go. That's something that I really appreciate about Nier Automata. Everything you're doing, like, you have standard combat, flight mode, a hacking minigame, possibly some fourth thing I'm forgetting about. And yet, all of it. uses the exact same controls. So even if, for example, in the hacking minigame, you can't, whoa. In the hacking minigame, for example, you can't attack, but everything else is exactly the same controls. So you already know what you're doing. I feel like that's really brilliant and I love it. Like, everything in a Nier Automata runs off the same basic control scheme. A key, huh? Whew, that was scary. Not paying enough attention. Alright, question. Can the key destroy go- Yes!
I like RPGs and I want them to do better. Nier Automata. Like, I was avoiding it at first because... I don't know why. Probably for the same reason I was avoiding Dark Souls at first. Oh no, a new untested thing that I haven't played before. Is it going to be any good? But I'm really glad that I played it. I mean, sure, the fishing minigame is, uh, controls differently, but it is never mandatory to fish, and also, from my perspective, it's really easy. Alright, so, there's two levels to choose from. Here I go. Hectic platforming. Even though I'm going to take both choices, I still like being given the choice. Oh no, an auto-scrolling level. Well, based on my earlier experience with an auto-scrolling level in this episode, I don't think it's going to be that bad a level. Normally, auto-scrolling levels put off a ton of alarm bells in my head. I suppose the purpose of uh, mini-games in RPGs is to give you a break from the main loop. But, or from the main gameplay loop. But I feel like something like Persona has incorporated something like that much better where you have the combat, which is, I guess it's supposed to be hard. I mean, on higher difficulties, I guess it gets pretty hard. I've never played higher difficulties on Persona, though. Because I am not that good at it. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But then you all... Oh, whoa. But then you also have a... Uh... Come on, brain. The portion that's basically a visual novel? Where you just hang out with some people and have a good time together. Learn about each other. Deal with your mutual traumas together. I mean, it's not perfect, but you have two gameplay modes that are basically divorced from each other and yet still contribute meaningfully to each other. Well, I can't exactly say the combat contributes to the uh, visual novel portion, but the visual novel portion is off doing its own thing, not reliant on your combat stats, aside from which personas you have equipped. And then, uh... Bubble Heaven. This makes me think of that hippo level from Super Mario something to Mario Land 2. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But then... The visual novel stuff... As you upgrade your relationship levels with various characters, you get to make more powerful personas. Whoops. Did a skull appear in that pit to show where I had died at? That's awesome. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Persona. And the problem of, uh... Oh, no. I should have done a spin jump there. I'm probably not going to get the, uh, especially since I'm stopping for this, the extra life, but I am going to try and at least hurry along. Hurry along. Okay, so. Whew. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Okay, checkpoint. Did the tutorial say something about not having to not hit the checkpoint if you want the extra life at the end? As far as I remember, it just said, uh, beat the hidden timer. Oh no. There was that sound again. No, 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 no! And that's why I dislike bubbles, because I am personally bad at them. Let's start Here from the I checkpoint, go. which I would guess disqualifies me from uh, the extra life. Okay, so. I guess just get a move on. I am very good at this. <laughs> okay, checkpoint. So I have lost two lives in the pursuit of one extra life. This is a, a very poor exchange rate. Oh no. Oh. Okay, so I think I died around here somewhere. So when you die, it shows you everywhere on that screen that you've died. Neat. No, I want the checkpoint. Okay. Wait, I can re just return to the map, right? Return to map. There we go. One improvement that I think could be made to this is starting the cursor on the checkpoint, on the latest checkpoint you have achieved. Okay, so. Take the shell with me. Trying to get that shell again was a bad idea, especially when, you know, I could have just done this. <sighs> Jumping from bubbles. Not a thing I am good at. Here I go. Wee. Okay, so That was upsetting. <sighs> Mario time. My performance is really dipping here. So, give up on the extra life. Don't rush. Is there a power up around here? No. Okay, so. Okay, so. Alright. Wanna wait for this to get back upwards. And. Okay. So as long as I have... Oh, I was dying right near... I... 
I took my time and made it on time. Okay. I guess the timer is for the full level and resets for the full level when you take the checkpoint? That'd be my guess. Join me next time when I go to a level with a star. I'll see you then.